I actually wouldn't be surprised if Kyle Lowry starts for the Sixers when he gets out onto the court. I think they'll value his leadership and veteran pre uh, you yep. know, presence. So the Sixers have a new addition, but let's go to Golden State. The Dubs didn't make any big moves at the trade deadline. Why did they decide to stand pat? You know, they were down the road and had very serious conversations about Alex Caruso, about Kelly Olynyk. Teams were calling about Andrew Wiggins. He'd been playing a lot better. And I think when it got down to it, from what I'm told, I know everybody asked for Jonathan Kaminga, and they essentially said, we are never trading Kaminga. He is untouchable, so don't even <laughs> He's ask. He's been on fire. He's been on fire. He's the Unintended. second scorer they needed. But Andrew Wiggins' recent play gave them encouragement that he can rebound into the form that he was a couple of years ago when they won the title and they decided to stand pat, even though they were down the road with a couple of key players. And wouldn't the Lakers love to say the same thing about this guy? From the Bay to L.A. where the Lakers signed guard Spencer Dinwiddie. Uh, Din Spencer Dinwiddie. I was like, from L.A. It's half he high is. School. That is true. Uh, he was bought out just by the Raptors, right? So if you look at this addition, why is this important for Los Angeles? Well, look, the Lakers actually had conversations with the Brooklyn Nets about trading for Spencer Dinwiddie before he was sent to Toronto and then was waived by the Raptors but why trade for a guy when you can just sign him as a buyout guy for free like you can just sign him for that 1.5 that they had left from their from their exception and I think the question for Spencer and the Lakers is how does he fit into this locker room obviously this second run that he had with the Nets wasn't as good and Zach, Zach had a nice column about this a, a couple of weeks ago in the way that he fit into that locker room this is going to be a challenge for Darvin Ham for LeBron James but people who know Spencer say he does well with a lot of structure and I think in the role that he's in he needs to tee himself up for this summer and so he this is, a, this is the opportunity he had. The Mavericks wanted him. The Knicks wanted him. But this is the opportunity that Dinwiddie thought would give him the best opportunity to put his, his best foot forward. So let's bring Perk and Zach back into the mix. Zach, why is Spencer Dinwiddie – why can't I say his name today? Spencer Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie. There you go. What is he bringing to L.A.? I think this could be, of all the buyout signings, the most impactful one and a player that could really help the Lakers because these guys need – one more guy other than LeBron who can go north-south, who's fast, who can get into the teeth of a defense. D'Angelo Russell doesn't really do that for as well as he's shooting. Austin Reeves even doesn't really do that. And for all the noise in Brooklyn, for all the unhappiness, whatever, this dude is still one of the most efficient pick-and-roll ball handlers in the league, and he goes north-south. He gets into the paint, he gets to the rim, and he throws lobs and all that stuff, and the Lakers need a little more of that kind of juice on offense. I could see Spencer Dinwiddie, if this goes well, closing a good number of games for the Lakers. I think he could really help them. Perk, is Spencer going to move the needle for the Los Angeles Lakers? Just a little bit. He takes it from half full to a quarter of a tank. I mean, to three-fourths of a tank. But let me say this, okay? Competition. Competition inside the locker room, right? Like, if D'Angelo Russell is not balling or Austin Reeves is not balling, you want that competition mm -hmm. amongst your group. It is better for the team. So now it's no drop-off. Every single player on that squad has to bring it every night, especially at the guard position. I love this pickup by the Los Angeles Lakers. They were in need of another playmaker that could go out there and not only create for himself, but for others as well.